Okay, we got why foreign men struggle dating man, in Japan. I feel like with Japanese. Which literally has our boy Jake and Bake live in the thumbo. I saw this and I I was like, I have to watch this. I have to watch this. Uh, also, Ray is going to be here soon. And we are going to get to our scary gaming uh, a part of the broadcast. Do not worry. Uh, that is going to happen. These people with dating is like a very... I got a girl who was like only quick. talking to me or only interested because I was foreign. But uh, then I downloaded some apps just to see what's there. Oh. Um, that freaks out a lot of foreign people. Jake! They wanted him because he was Gaijin, dude. Fucking king. Ledge. Absolute fucking ledge. Well, I think that's one of the reasons why I've been a little scared to try it. Hey guys, hi there, I'm Takashi from Japan. So today I'm going to interview foreign men about dating in Japan. Okay, let's find out today. On my channel, I interview Japanese people and foreigners in Japan. So it's the best channel for anyone who wants to come to Japan without traveling or living. You can also learn Japanese here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. And on my Instagram, I show my daily life in Tokyo and share information about Japan. So if you haven't followed yet, please follow it too. Okay, let's get started. Thank you for your time. Where from? I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Australia. How long have you been in Japan? I in total in Japan. about three years. Three years. This topic is about dating for foreign guys in Japan. Oh my gosh. First of all, like, have you dated Japanese person? That's right. Yeah, I've dated Japanese people both in Australia, they, whether they were like there for university or working holiday, and then also in Japan as well. So, a bit of both perspectives. Okay. So, what's it like dating for foreign guys in Japan? In general, like, do you have any opinion on the first of all? What mm. do you think is the differences? What do you think the difficulty is? Difficulties? The differences? Yes. Okay, so, well, in Japan, I feel like with Japanese people, dating is like a very formal thing. So, like, sometimes before people have even started dating, you confess that you like them, right? So that's kind of very strange to me because <laughs> in Australia, we kind of do a couple of dates first and then we talk about how, what the relationship yeah. is. Are we boyfriend, girlfriend, you know? Or sometimes we don't even talk about it at all. It just goes with the flow. And then a couple months later, you just assume. But in Japan, uh, sometimes they want like the answer a bit quicker. Like mm -hmm. on the third date, yeah. they might ask, Oh, Tsukiya uh, to Iwanaino. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, won't you like, ask me to be your girlfriend? Yeah, and it's right, like right, after, right. after three dates <laughs> or something. So that's, uh, that's a bit of a, a difference there, I guess, in kind of the formalities. I guess Japanese people are very, very polite, even in dating, right? <laughs> feel like sometimes when you want to date a Japanese girl uh, you need to it's like a schedule and it's, sometimes it's like even a month in advance like I'll say hey you want to go get some uh, lunch sometime tell me what days you're free and then they'll say like oh next month I'm free on the 23rd it's like oh my god it's yeah. like <laughs> it feels like a business meeting or right, something right, you know it's right. like Japan has a lot of like couple bunker like mm -hmm. couple culture like Christmas over here is a very couple yeah. oriented day yeah it's not about family yeah, yeah, it's, it's not about family. That was a surprising thing. So it's like a couple of days and you go to Kentucky Chicken or something. I didn't do that. It's tough, but... What the fuck? What is this dude's accent? It's like confusing. Am I crazy? It's like Australian, but like mixed with a bunch of different shit. When I was about 18 and came here for the first time, I was getting my hair cut from my barber. And I was like, oh, I've actually got a date this weekend. That's so why I'm getting my hair cut. Do you have any advice? dating a Japanese girl and he said yes you should hold her hand <laughs> I was like holding hands that's that's like something we do in kindergarten or something you know it's like okay. in my opinion that's not a very you know important thing or I, I wouldn't consider it very important but in Japanese like the skinship right bro he sounds like Scandinavian Australian he sounds like average Jonas doing an Australian uh, accent I'm not even kidding it's gonna like I can tell, I can tell he's Australian, uh, but also only Bogan white Australians have broad accents. Most of us have immigrant backgrounds and sound like this is probably Italian or Greek Australian. It's, good, it's very touch. important. At the same time, it's a really big deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't hug, you know, to someone, you know, you met first time, right? That's it. So, That's yeah. it. Yeah. Real moving point for a date in uh, Western countries, more like the first kiss, you know, after the first kiss, you know, then it starts to get a bit more serious. Is that something Japanese men do? Kiss on the first date? I think I do. I, I personally do, but I think many Japanese guys wouldn't do it. Yeah, this guy's like, I'm the Rizzler, baby. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm different. Okay. You're not sure, you're not you know, sure. what's going to happen if you yeah, do it, right? Yeah. But I would do it. Yeah. You do it because you're brave. You're brave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So thank you so much. 
Last question. Do you speak Japanese? Ah, なんとなくね。10年間ぐらい日本語を勉強していて、まだいつも間違ってる。<laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you. Thank you. Okay, but for real, Big Mike, Jeff, and Tana talking about take you. Take, take over. Parking break on. <laughs> I had I had a thought today. Awesome. I, I was a thought. It today. was the only yeah. one of the whole day. <laughs> I was at the top of the mountain with、uh, Alex. Hold on. We'll finish.、Uh, thank you for、more. your time. Where are you from? I'm from Denmark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.、Uh, how long have you been in Japan? I've been here since、uh, August, so about six months. Six months? Yeah.、Uh, what do you do here?、Uh, I'm studying here. Studying、yeah. here. Bro, every dude that comes to Japan inevitably has incredible style. Like, everybody's got like, good ass fit, good ass haircuts, like, great fucking accessories. What's happening here? Yeah. Okay, so I want to ask you about this topic about dating in Japan. First of all, like, if that's okay. <laughs> Except for Jake. <laughs> Except for Jake. Can I ask, like, your experience with dating in Japan for this six months?、Um, at first, I hadn't really put any thought into it, but then I downloaded some apps just to see what's there.、Oh. Um, and it's been all right, yeah. Like, which app can I ask?、Uh, Bumble. Bumble.、Yeah. Oh, which,、uh, many people mentioned that I haven't used. Is it for foreign people? I, I, have, I don't have any friends using that, and I, I have never used that、yeah. app.、So. No, it's mixed. I mean, there are also Japanese people and also foreigners. So, people I've actually met through the app have all been foreigners.、Uh -huh. But I have, I guess, in that sense, matched with a few Japanese.、Uh, but that just never escalated, I guess. Have you actually dated? Yeah, yeah, I have. Foreign?、Go. Foreign, yeah, foreign. I haven't dated any Japanese, only、uh, foreigners.、Yeah. So, I want to ask this question.、Uh, I see many. Foreign and Japanese couple on the street, many, a lot. But at the same time, I see many like foreign, foreign, but non, non Japanese, non Japanese couple. And you're the one of them, right? <laughs> Actually,、yeah. like, what, what do you think of it? Do you think it's easier to find foreign girl like who speak English or who speak your language、mm -hmm. rather than like, you know, just normal, like random Japanese girl? On, what do you think? Yeah, I do think like generally it is easier to find some other foreign people mm. Mm.、Uh, because at、uh, the point, as you mentioned with the Japanese, it's a bit harder to find someone whose English is kind of the similar level. Yeah, which has been a bit difficult. But that's also why that app is really nice. You can put in what languages you speak and it sorts through languages. And generally, there are less Japanese English speaking、mm. people、uh, on the app.、Oh. And also, I don't speak Japanese myself,、mm. which also makes it、uh, a bit difficult to yeah, communicate in that sense. What do you think the difficulties as a foreign guy the date in Japan, regardless of dating a Japanese girl, foreign girl?、Um, I think one of the differences also, like, I know I'm here temporarily, so I'm not sure how long I'm here for. So, that kind of to, to communicate that with the other partner, that how long this is going to be for, is it like a short yeah, thing yeah. or do you want to take it seriously? To communicate that aspect might be a bit different. I came to Japan to date other foreigners because there ain't no subtitles. Bro. This is one instance where you gotta ask yourself, like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's not the case, but like, I don't know if people in Japan also want to date like random foreigners who are not gonna be there for a very long time. You know what I mean? I know that people in Japan definitely don't wanna see the ads at the top of the hour, so they subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting their Amazon Prime accounts to their Twitch accounts. Here's the three minute ad break now. Yeah, because you'll be、Thank、hesitant you, Thank you for the being a、subs. serious relationship if you don't know if you're going to stay in Japan next year, right? Exactly, exactly.、Uh, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, thank you for your time. Where are you from? I'm、uh, from America. Where are you in America?、Uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Yeah. Okay. How long have you been in Japan? You live here?、Uh, I used to live here about five years ago. I lived here for two and a half years. Right now. This is so funny. Did he know? He knew who Jake was, obviously, right? He's a YouTuber. Like, there's no shot. I'm actually just visiting for about two months. Okay, so、yeah. you know well. Two ton 21, thank you for the five gifted. Natalie's 51, thank you for the 10 gifted. And God of Fist, thank you for the five gifted. How about Japan? Uh, so, so, so? Yeah, a little bit. I don't、okay. know. Yeah. So, what, what's it like dating for warning guys in Japan at first? Sure.、Um, during my time living here, I didn't really.、Uh, Date or actively tried to date because I was just so busy、uh, streaming. Yeah, yeah. I was live streaming、uh, in Japan、uh, a lot. But、uh, my observations and stuff, I definitely picked up a lot. That kind of one thing I kind of noticed、mm -hmm. is、uh, I had a lot of Japanese friends when I lived here. But when I hung out with foreign friends or foreign guys that were、yeah. friends, sometimes、uh, in our circles of friends, there'd be like, oh, if you go to like certain places, certain bars, it's like, oh, you can find 
uh, Japanese girls that will be more interested in foreign guys uh, or whatever, uh, and however right. it's termed or whatever. But um, I've always found that to be a little bit um, like scummy, but that definitely exists. And uh, yeah, I, I see that a lot when I was when I was here living. So some people might think like you came to Japan because you trying to hear that Japanese girl or something like that. Yeah, uh, I think it definitely creates like a really bad stigma. Like if you're a foreigner traveling, um, always kind of get that feedback or that stigma that exists. And although there are definitely foreigners like that, it's uh, yeah, not not always the best. But yeah, okay. when I was out living in Japan, uh, if I ever had the feeling, because I was, usually would try to make friends with more Japanese people. But if I had the feeling that when we were out at a bar or something that a girl was like only talking to me or only interested because I was foreign, uh, for me actually it's a weird like turn off because I feel like it's just not the right reason. Best shake and bake good. Tastes like pennies. Interesting. I never had. I never ate. Oh, dude? No, no. Too scared. Why? I probably will at one point. When? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Why did you look at me like that? I don't know. Who's f are you gonna eat? I don't know. Who I don't, gonna eat? Who's me? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> That's true, right? If you don't wanna eat. Can we just one day? Water? It's supposed to be me, right? Wait, why are you you guys this is this is Jake's longtime girlfriend, Water. You guys thought that this was like a random date or something? Yeah. Someone literally sent this to me as like a someone sent this to me as like a like a ra like the person who linked this to me was like, look at Jake on a date. Okay. What if he ate my ass? I mean, fucking maybe. It does exist, and there's definitely a lot that try to take advantage of that, so. Last question, do you speak Japanese? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. You want to show your Japanese? Oh, God, uh, that's really, uh, and it's embarrassing. How's it going? Okay, this, uh, okay. Ja. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, okay. thanks. Okay, thank you for your time. Where are you from? Thank you. I'm from New York. Oh, shit, another American, dude. Jake is so embarrassed. What a cutie. What a cutie pie he is. On. From Brooklyn. And you're half Japanese, right? That's right. Yeah, half Japanese. So I've been in Japan for three or four months. Um, I'm doing an internship here. So it's been kind of cool to come back and sort of, you know, connect to my Japanese family and compare the different cultures, you know. Cool. Uh, obviously, you're not, you know, foreigner, but, you know, you're from America, right? right so you have, right. like, foreign perspective. First of all, like, you have any opinion on, the, like, you know, dating culture in Japan and dating culture in America, the differences? Can right, you share right. everything? So I think, um, actually, I haven't gone on, like, proper dates with Japanese women, but I've definitely talked to a lot of my Japanese friends or friends who've been here for a longer time. Mm. Yeah, they, so they say after, like, the third date, there's, like, the confession or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that kind of, like, that freaks out a lot of foreign people. I think that's <laughs> one of the reasons why I've been a little scared to try it. Uh, yeah, the dating culture is very, like, there's maybe more rules. Mm -hmm. If you just walk around here, you see lots of people on dates, and people do the thing where they dress the same clothes, you know, as their partner, uh, stuff like that, or, like, um... It's called pair of it. Yeah, it's called a pair look. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that or like, um, yeah, there's more like rules or like normal, like there's like a thing that's normal to do, you know. Uh. In Japan, so I've gone on like some dates with actually foreign women. And again, that's easier for me because I know like how that goes, you know, I know what the expectations are, um, kind of what the rules are. But I think a lot of people are looking for like Japanese partners. But also, I, I think for them too, since they're completely not Japanese, Maybe the women they're with have like fewer expectations of them to be a certain way, you yeah. know? There's maybe some women who are looking to be in an international relationship and so they're more interested, you know, in kind of foreign men and they're more open to trying things that's not completely what they're used to in terms of like dating rules and stuff like that. Last question, do you speak Japanese? You speak Japanese, right? Wake up! Yes, I speak Japanese. I don't know if I'm talking about it. I don't know if I'm talking about it. I don't know いいですね。日本語話せる状態で日本に来るっていうのは結構いいですよね。まあそうですね。まあでもそんなに上手じゃないから、まあ結構。